Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely day. So for this video, I'm going to be setting up a new happy planner. I'm going to be taking one of my old happy planners and turning it into a planner that I can use now. So I've bought some filler paper off of Amazon. This was... Uh, £9.61 from Amazon. I'll link it down in the comments for you. And I'm going to be creating a kind of a memory planner slash scrapbook. I'm not too sure what I'm doing. It's, I'm just making it up as I go along. So I thought I would just film me setting this up. So I grabbed three of the um, happy planners that I've got. I just grabbed the top three off of my stack. So I've got, I think, 2019, 2017 to 18, and this is 2016, 15. I believe. Um, got the hair. So these are obviously all filled out. It's so weird to go back and see how I used to plan. It's kind of the same, but just different. Um, so what year was this? This was 2019, so not that long ago. And then this one was 2017 to 18. Look how chunky. Um, and my planning style has changed so much. Like that just looks crazy full to me. And then in this one, I think this is 2015. Um, let me flick to one so we can see. Completely different. Completely different. <laughs> they all just look so weird. It's like, you know, when you find an old school book from back in the day when you were at school and you kind of flip through it, it just looks so bizarre. Like, that's crazy. I would never do anything like this. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. So <clears throat> I need to obviously choose which rings I want first. I've either got gold rings, rose gold or silver. And then the covers that I've got, obviously this has got the date on it. This one's got the date on it as well. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it is on there. There we go. And then this one doesn't have a date on, but I'm just not that keen on it. I mean, I could use the other side, maybe. Do I want to do that, though? Or do I use this one because I like the silver rings and I can put something over here? What's the inside like? Yeah, I mean, I could. I think I'll do that. And then if I want to, all I have to do is rip it off and change it for another one. I, you can buy these um, covers, which... I'll probably end up doing anyway, but let's just do this. Oh, nearly pulled my whole table down. So um, the filler paper I got, like I said, is from Amazon. It was under £10 and it's uh, 40 sheets. So I was looking for plain paper. Let me just unrustle this. So um, this came in a bunch of different colours. I believe I thought it was only going to be this colour and it's a bit more blue than what I thought it was anyway. I didn't realize it came in multiple colors, but we're just gonna go with what we have. So I'm going to take out all of the inner sections of my planner and then replace it with this paper. So let me take everything out. I don't know if there's a right way and a wrong way to do this, but I'm just going to start from the back. Also like, what do I do with these pages? Do I keep them? What do you guys do with your old planners? I mean, these have all been stacked on a shelf, which is fine, but now I'm gonna have like loose bits of planner. What do I do with it? Some of these are even blank. Some of them are pretty. Look at that. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I like these. Oh, I don't know. Somebody tell me what to do with everything because I don't know. Oh, that might be a bit much. Come on, you can do it. Oh, yeah. So I'm not sure if these videos will come out weekly. They probably won't. It will be when I want to sit down and do a memory and spread then obviously I will film it and put it up on YouTube so these won't be weekly videos but these will kind of come up sporadically this feels wrong 
ripping up all of my um, planner spreads. Oh, I think these are the last ones. Okay. Let me maybe do a few amount. I don't. There we go. This one was a free printable. I used to do um, free printable spreads once a month. I should get back into doing that because then it allows other people to find ooh, free printables to use in their planner. There we go. And then this is the last section. Okay. That's very weird, but there, there we go. That's done. So let me put in the paper. So I think I'll start with the pink at the front. So how do we do this? I'm guessing just push it on. Yeah, okay. So I've also got a, another new planner, it's a B6, which I'm really excited to start using. That will probably come up on my channel um, more often than like this one does. I've just got to figure out how I want to use it. But um, I will be doing a setup video with that. So that's either the video that's gone up before this or it's coming up after this. I don't know why I'm using so many planners all of a sudden. When I started planning, I started planning in a happy planner and I had that one planner and I had a bullet journal. I've creased that. Can you go in please, thank you. Um, what's the saying? Oh, I had a happy planner and I had a bullet journal and I was fine with that for many, many years. And then I wanted to get a Erin Condren because everybody else had an Erin Condren and I felt like I needed one. So then I bought the Erin Condren. Then I went back to a happy planner. No, I didn't. What did I do? I went to another planner, but I can't remember what planner it was. Then I'm back in a Erin Condren and a bullet journal. And now I have my Erin Condren, my bullet journal, now this happy planner, my B6, and then I have my finance planner or my house planner. I don't know what's happened. And the last few, I've put pink first because pink's my favorite color. Maybe I should have done the blue first. Do you know what, I think I'm going to swap it, even though pink's my favourite colour. Oh god, here we go, there we go. I think when you open the planner, because it's blue, it matches better. So I think we're going to do blue first, then pink. Okay, let's try this. I think I'm trying to put too many on, but you know what? That's how it is. Yeah, okay. So it's considerably smaller than what it was before. It's tiny, look at that. But once I've started putting stickers in and other bits, then it will bulk up pretty quickly. So maybe I should just quickly decorate this first page. Because I'm not sure if for my spreads I'm going to be doing a double page or one page per thing. I haven't made up my mind yet. Like I said, I'm completely making this up as I go along. Maybe I'll quickly put something on the front here. Let me have a little think about what to do. So I've got this cardstock that I could cut down to put in the middle. And then I've got, this was from Shen. And then these ones were from Amazon. I've got like a couple of different ones that I could possibly use. Let me just have a quick look, like that's got blue on it, and it's just like a plain white flower, maybe, I could do something like that. And I've also got that I will be bringing to the shop, it's just I haven't quite finished, but um, I've got these journal letters that I was going to be bringing to the shop on my printable section, so now's a good time for me to see 
if the size is good and if they're any good before I actually bring them into my shop. So I'll probably use those as well. But let me cut down the piece of card first. Put all this stuff so I don't lose it. Put them back in the pack. Grab my cutting thing. Oh, hang on, let me see where I need to cut it first. So I'll do that bit in a minute, but maybe if I do it, what's this? One, two, three, four, five. Six, one, two, three, four, five on the six. One, two, three, four, five on the six. Why don't we make a, a dent there? <laughs> That's how I measure things. I just put a dent. <laughs> okay, let me grab my guillotine. Oh, this is so heavy and awkward, but it is the best paper cutter that I've got. Or that I've even tried from my shop, so. It's worth it, even though it's so difficult to store it. Uh, we'll go about about there. Yeah. Oh, that's thick card. Put that back away. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely going to be. I'm making it up as I go along. I'm not sure what it's going to look like, uh, but it's just a bit of fun to um, do and try out. So how shall I do it? Uh, shall I do it about that? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Maybe it's a good job I didn't get plain paper because then I would have had to measure it. At least it's easy with um, dot grids. Just count how many dots. Also, I wasn't even planning on setting up this first page, so um, yeah. I'm going to do it up here so I know it's straight. I can't see my line. There it is. About there. We don't have to be perfect. Right, take that away. Okay, right, so I'm thinking putting this in the middle. What did I do with my other stuff? Oh, so here they are. So I've got a couple of little stickers. This one here, try and put it in focus for you. It says, thank you for the good times, the days you feel to have pleasure. Thank you, fond memories and feelings I'll always treasure, which is pretty perfect for <laughs> what this plan is going to be. And then I've got, these ones are from Shen. Um, the spellings aren't always great in this. <laughs> But I've got a couple of little things that I might be able to use on here. Um, this one says we travel through mountains and rivers. And even though this isn't like a travel journal, obviously I will put when we travel in here. So maybe then. And I had another one somewhere. I've lost it. Where did it go? Hmm. Oh, here it is. on the floor. <laughs> Um, which is just some white little flowers, just really plain and simple. So maybe I will just put it the right way, layer that one up there. I could even put that one behind it really, maybe like that. And then I will rip out some words. So you can either cut these out with scissors or rip them. And obviously if you rip them, I think it looks better because that's kind of the feel I'm going for. And then maybe I'll put the little quotes down here. Let's just start sticking things because I'll be here forever. Okay, I've got my trusty double-sided tape. And did that go on that? Yeah. Oh God, that is squeaky. So when I was filming my tiny planner, um, that I do silent planning and I was using this one and it really squeaked and I thought oh my god that is going to kill somebody's ears because it kills my ears when that happens okay oh how many did I say oh god eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six my printer's just come alive. And I still suck it on wonky, but that's okay. We're fine. And then I think I was going to put these up at the top. Maybe like this. 
Do we think that looks okay? Can we see? Do you need to be zoomed in? Not very good at these um, talking videos, but I will get better, I promise. I'm just gonna try and unstick this. Bear with me. We may be here a while. Oh, I got it. There we go. And I think these ones, when you ripped it off, it, they curl up straight away. Um, go maybe there. Might have been a bit low down. No, that should be okay. Let me try and peel this one off. Come on. Come on. Oh, you know when you can't do something, it makes your stomach like turn and do knots. <laughs> oh, I've got it. Okay. Whew. Okay, and then we'll put this one. Do I want to overlap it? We'll just go for it there. There will be fine. Okay, so that's those two. And then let's rip out some of these. I might cut out first and then rip it. Oh, that might be a little bit easier. Uh, what am I writing? Um, so let's write memory because obviously it's going to be a memory journal. Oh, so I'll just write memory journal, I guess. I think I want probably... like the big M here so I guess I'll rip that one out I can cut the white off as well let me quickly rip out all of the um, letters so we're not here for days and I'll be right back Okay, finished cutting them out and I've done a quick picture on my Insta story. I haven't stuck them down yet. I've just put them there to make sure I had all the right letters. Nearly chopped all of my hair off because I've got really long hair and it's up in these kind of pigtail things. And as I was cutting, my hair went over. Yeah, so that nearly happened. But anyway, so I've got all of the letters ripped out. I think I'm going to put them kind of maybe in the middle, kind of where they are. And then maybe these down at the bottom, but let's start sticking these down. So I kind of want them to kind of overlap. So I need to think what I want underneath. Hmm. It's going to be a bit more tricky than what I thought. So I'll start with the E. So here is the E. And then I wanted the M slightly over that. And then Mem, M first, memory, yeah. There's the M, O, and then Y and R. Put the Y down there. Okay, then ones are down and journal, J-O-U-R-N-A-L, yep, they're all here. Gang's all here. Okay, so I've stuck them all down and I really like how it looked. I think these will definitely be coming to the shop and like I said, these will be on my printable section so you can print these on plain paper, on sticker paper like I have or craft paper and then obviously once you have purchased this, then you can print it as many times as you like because you've already got it so I think they're definitely coming because I really like how it looks anyway uh, moving on so next I was going to put the we travel through mountains and rivers just stick these ones down I think I'm going to put them down at the bottom I don't want to go too crazy on my front page it was just something to have like a title so then I'm ready to start a 
think I'm going to put, or should I put them right down here? And maybe I'll do it here. And I'll put the We Travel. Let me zoom in so you can see. We Travel Through. Let's cut this straight. Yeah. Um, I do have, hold on. Um, these are Pantene, Pantone, Pantene. Pantone is for hair. Pantone colour um, stickers. I mean, that's blue. I mean, I could put these. I mean, that's like an exact match to my thing, to my planner, to my paper. Should I put that on here? Is that too much? Am I going too much? I have the too much gene and I never know when to stop. This is a possibility, but I also have these clay stickers. I need to know when to stop and I just don't know because I also have it's because I've just done a haul and all my stickers are sitting down beside me um I've got this washi tape in here it's a black one and I think a little tiny bit of black washi doesn't hurt anybody does it I think we'll go with that so I'm just going to do like a little bit I'll probably rip both ends oh get off of me I've got a bit stuck on me Maybe I'll put it up here, or maybe I'll put it down here, or is that overkill? <laughs> okay, we'll take that off. Maybe I'll just stick that there and then we're done. I think so. I think that's a good idea. Okay, let me just unpeel um, this, and we'll stick that down here, because it matches this page really well. Maybe we'll just put one of these, just one, and then I promise we'll be done. Oh, these have got like little bits on them, so it looks like they're taped into, oh, you can't see. There we go. Looks like they've got little tape on them. That's so adorable. These were from um, Amazon. Okay. And I'm just going to put him... Do I like him? Do I put him there? Right, we're gonna stop now because I've got to that point. But anyway, so whoop, I just hit my tripod. This is how the front page looks like, which I really like how it's turned out. And then I'm ready to start. I've got like a couple of memories that I know I can plan, so there will be a video coming up um shortly using this because I'm excited to use it now. I've got it all ready. And then I will put something over the top of here, whether I just put memory planning or something like that. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me set up this happy planner to turn into my memory journal. If you did, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of my other videos. I hope wherever you are, you're having a lovely day and I will speak to you all next time. Bye guys.